Greetings. This is May 27th, and I just wanted to give you a wrap up on the latest data up till now. The view from high above, uh, satellite from Worldview, NASA, shows a lot of cloud cover over British Columbia, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba that may be obscuring infrared. If we zoom in now to the fire at Alley Lake, that's just east of Vedette, you can, it's very hard to see. There's some haze, it appears. Uh, there's a general indication of where the fire may be. Uh, Bonaparte is just to the right of the screen, and Loon Lake and Hyheum Lake uh, to the left of the screen. If we look at a map, uh, I'm just going to take a little jump around the province at some fires uh, that I notice on the infrared. There appears to be some activity east of Eagle Bay on Shushwap Lake. Uh, I noticed some infrared popping up there. This is over at Anderson Lake, west of Seton Portage, and that's the fire that's gone up the hillside. Not a lot of new activity there. There is also now a fire indication in West Kelowna, that's about uh, 15 kilometers southwest of city center. Way further north, up above Fort St. John, uh, there's a large fire up there. I'm seeing a familiar pattern of behavior as most intensity is around the northeastern and southeastern flanks as wind shifts occur during the day and over the last few days. And around Williams Lake, uh, just south of Williams Lake, uh, over towards Risky Creek, down by Alkali Lake, and 141 Mile House. There are infrared indications over the last 24 hours, but nothing new in less than 12 hours. So let's jump back to the fire at Alley Lake, east of Vedette. And here we can see most recent activity on the southern flank and some isolated hotspots moving eastward. Uh, there's still a few that are kind of around Boyer Lake and uh, another couple towards uh, Vedette itself. But most of that activity has moved eastward and now we're seeing more activity on the southern side. So we'll check the wind, but first let's go to the RSAC, that's the Remote Sensing Application Center data. And this is available on Google Earth. And I'll put a link to the KML so that you can load up different uh, satellite indications. I just uh, go to Canada and we're going to take a look at the fire radiative power to see how many megawatts fire is putting out so we can see how hot it is. And when you first go, it'll load up Google Earth and you'll be looking at the globe and it'll actually zoom you into somewhere in central Canada. It's, you can see Churchill, Manitoba. Just zoom out come back and, and look at uh, British Columbia. And here we see color indications of how hot the fire is. And that can tell us a lot of information about how active it is and on which flanks most of that activity is occurring. We're gonna take a look right now at Anderson Lake, uh, just west of Seton Portage, and see some of the terrain that uh, the fire is moving up a hillside. The large yellow squares are time indications showing where fire has been. And the colored purple dot in the middle is the hottest areas being displayed right now. So the most of the heat is contained well within the established perimeter of that fire. This also lets you see that uh, the indications can be off 300 meters, 400, 500 meters, up to a kilometer away, and it's showing fire indications in the lake. Obviously, the display is set slightly askew due to the refraction of the light being picked up by the sensors. So let's now go over to Alley Lake and the fire there. In this image, we're looking northwards. We can see Bonaparte on the right-hand side, Young Lake on the left-hand side, uh, Machete Lake up towards the northeast, and those large yellow squares are time indications from the MODIS system. We're seeing two systems at once. Uh, the, the yellow squares are showing there was fire there previous to 24 hours ago. The colored squares are showing where heat is now, and we can see 
most of the activity is on the fringes of the perimeter. It's pushing northeastward, and there's a lot of activity kind of in a strip along the north side of Joe Ross Creek. Let's zoom in to the eastern flank, and we can see there is intensity that wants to push into new forested fuel areas. And there's this large block of forested area being displayed on this satellite image uh, in the lower right portion of the screen. Now let's zoom in to the northern flank of the Alley Lake Fire. Uh, we can see the roadway there moving up on an angle from the left to the right hand screen. That's the Clinton Loon Lake FSR, I believe. We can see one red indication in the middle. That's up around the 400 megawatt uh, range, which is extremely hot. That's top end of the scale. Uh, clicking on the green dot at the about center of the screen, it's showing 235 megawatts. And that green square, they're giving it an 87 as a score for confidence that it is uh, combustible wood fuels that are on fire right there now. We're going to zoom out again. We're looking at an angle northwards towards Sheridan and Bridge Lake and Green Lake uh, in the top left-hand portion of your screen. And I'm just throwing in an indication of where the Elephant Hill fire boundary or perimeter was. And it shows you that uh, much of the fire stayed within those large forested blocks. Let's jump over to Windy now. Take a look at the province. We can see the air mass is moving. Uh, they're pulling moisture up to the coast and kind of pinning it against uh, the north coast of British Columbia. If we zoom into the southern interior, we can see these air patterns arcing from the north, arcing from the south, meeting around the Bonaparte and pushing it towards the McDonald summit. Here we can zoom in. Uh, Young Lake, Vedette are about the center of the screen. Taking a look right now uh, at the fire zone, the winds have already begun to shift. They're moving now very slowly, meandering three kilometers from the south to the north. Looking at the forecast for today, those uh, breezes coming from the south, they're going to build into the afternoon. Uh, three o'clock, four o'clock, that's when it picks up. There could be some gusts, that's when there might be some concerns for what's north of those fire flanks. Uh, there's like a little hint of moisture on Wednesday, that's intriguing. Um, we'll look at the other uh, precipitation forecast. Uh, there could be a wind shift uh, starting Tuesday coming from the north again. Most of the wind is going to be in the late afternoon. It's as these systems are kind of shuffling up and down the caribou and uh, changing their dynamic. It can be coming from the south, it can be coming from the north. It really depends on your location at the time and the terrain. Is there any precipitation in the near future? Not necessarily in the next three days. Uh, pretty dry out there. All the moisture is being captivated on the coast. However, if we look at the 10 day forecast, it does look like there may be some moisture coming in, some cooler weather. That's good news for firefighters. Uh, taking a look at BC Wildfire Service, uh, they've got indicated 2200 hectares, still classified currently as out of control. Uh, we're up over 3000 hectares on the NRC data. Again, the NRC is not on the ground. BC Wildfire Service is on the ground. They're analyzing what has burned, what hasn't burned, and not all of the forest does burn. Uh, it goes, it's very spotty, it's in patches. Some areas may be left untouched. I will put all these links below, including the one here for the TNRD. It's got the uh, updates on the evacuation orders and alerts for Alley Lake. And we're back looking at the province with the radiative scan overview. Alley Lake is uh, just to the right of center of your screen. It's an active wildfire. It's currently classified as out of control. It's an interface fire. That means property has been threatened. This is a time if you're in that area and uh, we have these diverse wind patterns going on. 
you want to have all your resources together you want to know your escape routes you want to keep aware of the situation and plan ahead of time know what you're going to do before you need to do it so uh, check back with the government websites make sure that uh, you're up to date on their alerts check the wind keep your nose to the breeze and be safe out there it's an act of wildfire thank you very much for watching